All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Pirate Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo. And let's get started with today's video. Okay, so we have a package to open from you from Lefty EDC, as you can see here. So let's get rolling with that. But guys, first I want to start off. Uh, last night I was on Lefty's stream, and I opened a knife from Kubi. Now, this is not an unboxing because I already unboxed it, but I want to kind of give my first thoughts on this. So we're going to kind of do a combo video, if you will. Uh, this is the Kubi... And I'm going to use this as my unboxing knife, too. This is the Kubi KU318E, uh, OS 10 and G10, made in China by Kubi. And Kubi sent this to me. This is a Mikhail Williamson design. Uh, and as you can see, right off the bat, now they asked me about this knife, and there's a drop point and a tanto. And you guys know I usually don't lean towards the tantos, but because of these two fullers, I just had to see this thing. Uh, yes, so we have G10. And we have overlapping liners, um, and uh, we have uh, what looks like a black G10 backspacer. Yep. All right, and then we've got these two fullers. Um, and yes, you can use it. And look at that crazy Tanto blade. Now, you have a very low grind here. Uh, again, this is not a review. It's just kind of my first impressions. And there's your design by Mikhail Williamson, which is really cool. Now... Uh, at first, I mean, this thing is just crazy looking. It is big. Uh, it's fairly thick, but not really thick. I will tell you, in the hand, uh, it's, it is pretty sweet, man. I mean, it just grabs your hand in there. And then you've kind of got this downturn uh, look at the blade with that secondary tip. You do have a hollow grind here and a flat grind here. Gives it this really cool vibe. And you can get your finger out here and do this, uh, which is really cool action-wise. I mean, it's a Kubi. Uh, so breaks really well on the detent and definitely good access to the lock bar. I should show that. Um, and just falls down. Now, it is a funky-looking beast, man. It makes me smile. Uh, I like to see unique knives from time to time. Everything's starting to look the same. And you do have a... a uh, choke up point as long as you sort of trigger here like back like this I mean this is pretty cool if you ask me uh, I know Kevin picked on it quite a bit on his stream when I showed it now I will say this it does look like you should be able to to front flip it here I cannot um, I have tried and tried and I cannot um, it just tore my finger up doing it but anyway so let's use this guy to cut this box open. Can I do it from here without showing everything? I think I can. Uh, let's see. All right. So we're going to go here. Maybe not. Yeah, I think we can. No. No. Yeah. It's hard to It's hard to say. I think I'm opening it, opening it upside down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will work. All right. Let's see here. All right, so that, that tip is ridiculously slicey very very cool all right so uh that was the mikhail williamson designed kubi bravo i didn't even say the name of the knife it's the bravo it's the ku 318e the bravo i i think it's pretty cool and man look at that um it is yeah Pretty impressed, so apologies to Kubi for not doing a separate uh, unboxing of this. I decided to show it off on a live stream, and uh, thank you for sending it. So we will do a full review on that guy. Now we have three knives from a new knife company, which I think is super cool. Now, Work Knife Balance is a YouTube channel, um, and you guys should check him out if you don't. He's in one of our, he's in this pass around group. Uh, and he has created sage knives, all right? And I am trying to make sure I'm getting everything out of this package. There's work, work knife balance. There is a knife. All right, I think I got everything. All right, so let's see what we've got here. And there is, check this box out. Sage knives, very, very cool. And we have a note here, so let me just check that out briefly. Um, all right, the plan is to do a Kickstarter in August. Um, we're not sure if we'll do the titanium version or G10 or both. Looking for feedback. 
this is called the Rango, guys. Uh, and the G10 ones are in 14C. The titanium one is in 20CV. We'll go over that. I was trying to see if I saw... I think Shielden is uh, the manufacturer. I am not sure. Really cool packaging. I love... Look at more, more logos, uh, more stickers, I mean. And again, this box is just super cool. All right, so let's get these open, and then we'll talk through them. There is the titanium one. There is a G10 one. There is another G10 one. By the way, this is going to be a little longer video because I started off with that bit about the Kubi there. And, man, these are interesting. Okay, so we have the titanium one right here. Very, very cool. Now, he says... Uh, titanium is 20 CV. Uh, the blade length is 3.49. Oh, man. Okay, is that flat? Hold on. I'm going to clean this blade. Oh, where's my cloth? There it is. Dirt. My cloths are uh, pretty funky at this point. Need to uh, either get some new cloths or get these cleaned. I mean, clean them is what I'm trying to say. All right. So, really cool 20 CV. Wow, very lightweight for the size. Uh, very nice ergonomics to the handle. Again, this is not a review. It's just an unboxing and maybe some first impressions here. Very cool handle. Uh, now, this is interesting. So you have a flipper tab, and you got this kind of mohawk front flipper. Can Casey do this? Yeah, not well. Uh, let's see. Okay, there we go. Much better. Can I reach? Eh, I am so bad at this, especially when it's a frame lock like that. Yeah, I mean, I can't, I cannot do that well, but I can do, well, now I said I can do that. Oh, come on. All right, there we go. All right, so that is the titanium one. Again, plan is for that to be a little more premium. And then you got the G10 one. Now, the G10 is in 14C28. Uh, this blade shape on these is pretty sweet. Uh, again, Filthy. All right, let's see. Come on, Kev. Come on, Kev. Um, all right, so uh, nice looking finish on that. Uh, kind of a, uh, you know, I think it's stonewash. It's just really muted on the stonewash. And then you've got this kind of blue gray G10. By the way, I, I didn't really talk about the pattern there. It's really interesting. By the way, the name of the knife is the Rango, if I didn't say that. Um, and this pattern is really unique and cool. Uh, on the on the titanium, it does give it a little bit of grip, and on the G10, it also gives it a little bit of grip. Now, um, you got what? Oh, I didn't even notice his logo there. Very cool. That's the Sage Knives logo right up there. Very cool. Okay, so you saw that. This one is an absolute dropper. Let's see. Did we have that on the? Oh yeah. Very nice. And then you've got green G10 here. Uh, very cool as well. I actually dig that green. It's like a forest green. Now, pocket clip-wise, we've just got... Let's see what we've got. Yeah, um, so you've got a nice milled titanium one on this. Uh, and on the G10, you've just got what looks like it may be just a shielding clip. Um, yeah, so loop over, both sides, uh, G10. I mean... Uh, uh, titanium knot on both sides. Uh, yeah, but very cool. So liner lock here, frame lock there. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Um, just looking for feedback, current specs, and there will be planned changes. So it looks like the titanium is going to run in the one uh, Kickstarter price $170, 190 uh, with the retail price 200 to 220 and then the G10, 65 to 80 on the Kickstarter and 75 to 90 on uh, the uh, drop. Uh, so very cool. You do have a nested liner lock here and obviously a frame lock here. And they're 8.15 8 inches, excuse me. Uh, very, very cool. Um, so yeah, this... So you guys know my thing about front flippers. I'm not the best at them, and I don't typically like uh, when a tab comes way back, but here's what's happening here. So even though that's way up, the way he's flared this out, you can see that flipper tab is staying pretty low, 
And you already got to stay back because there's a flipper tab there. Um, so yeah, it's not hitting me. So let's let's just see where it is coming in re relation to my hand. So you can see it's close there, but it's not hitting my hand. So I, I'll, I'll give it the approval there. Uh, very nice. Um, I like the finish on this titanium. Feels good, looks good. Yeah, and very lightweight, uh, very lightweight. Does he have weight here? No, but we'll do that in the review. I will say uh, all three of these are very light feeling and very, very nice. So yeah, so that is uh, the Sage Rango. And of course, uh, I got a mess here now. We also showed off uh, the Kubi Bravo Mikkel Williamson design knife there. So very cool. Let me know what you think of these guys. I think it's cool to see another new company coming out, Sage Knives, uh, with Work Knife Balance. Really, really cool to be uh, invited to check these out as part of the Pass Around group. So that is awesome. I always feel honored uh, to get to check out somebody's, especially a first design like this, uh, like I did with the Clydesdale for uh, for um, loot. I, I, you know, I just think. It's so awesome to see these guys trying uh, to put out what they love and uh, show it. You know, just like I'm trying to do with Tempest, it is fantastic to see these folks doing it. So there you go. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up, obviously, down below in the comments for let me know what you think. And guys, do all the things. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. And thank you so much for all your support and for watching the Knives Fast channel.